everyone. All right, so it's the next day. Uh, we just dropped Dad off to get the other pickup. Um, and now we're gonna go over to where we were bailing last night because I think I lost my glove over there. Right now we're in my uh, great uncle's field. Uh, we bailed all this this summer. This field is 80 acres, I think. Kind of bumpy, isn't it? Yeah, it's really I think this one field is 80 acres. We did back in June. Mm -hmm. Amy tagged along every once in a while to go with me, but she got bored pretty fast. Did you? Oh, good job. Alright, Amy found it. So this is the field that we did uh, yesterday. Dad already did some, so there's 12 I counted. Unless I counted wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it was extremely windy out here. Yeah. What do you have to say? Nothing. So the interstate's right here, you can see cars driving around. The house is like a quarter mile that way on the other side. But we went the back way again. Okay, Amy and I are gonna feed the big calves now, some corn again. the next day we're gonna go and hook the baler dad's gonna go mow some uh, ditches and stuff over east uh, and I'm gonna go load up some manure and do some manure spreading Dad's got the manure spreader hooked up. He's gonna go take it down. We're gonna get a bigger pin to put in because we didn't have the right size of pin. So the skid loader is having an error when you try to put it into the second high speed gear. So we don't need it right now, but it's kind of weird for a new machine. So I think Dad's gonna call uh, east side equipment. Dad's hooking up to the pallet fork that has the diesel tank on it. Then we'll get this thing filled up and he's gonna go. I'm gonna load some of this dirt pile first. Then we're gonna work on the manure pile and we're gonna be spreading that up north on the field that we did uh, silage on. This is the usual tank we use, but it's empty right now.
we got that hooked up. Uh, you can see we hate the PTO shaft on the John Deere. We switched it from 1000, which we use on the Baylor, to 540. Um, and Dad always has his biggest pet peeve on the John Deere's. So he's gonna go mow, mow the fence line, and then I'm gonna get some of this dirt out of the way. I have to attend Zoom University at like two o'clock and it's 1.30, so I'll be able to fill this thing hopefully, and then go to class, and then at, when I got a class, we'll go up to the field, empty that, and I don't know how many loads this is gonna take. Probably four or five, maybe. <laughs> So now we're gonna empty this. I don't know where dad went. Part of the mower broke off. There's a bar that pushes the grass over. Um, so I don't know where he went, but we're gonna go dump this. So we're heading up about a mile north um, of our place to empty all this dirt. It's going to be in that field that we were doing silage in. Alright, so first load of dirt is done. I think it'll take four loads, but I could be very wrong. I usually am. Um, but we'll see. But uh, good news and bad news. Uh, bad news, the tractor, the Q44 that I was driving, is stuck in uh, forward drive. So we call the New Holland, New Hartown, and it's going to take till Tuesday to get that part. So that's done for the day. Uh, so uh, good news. This thing, uh, the second high gear, whatever, just takes a while for it to warm up. So when you start the skid loader, it's not gonna work right away. So when I press it and just start the skid loader, it's not gonna work. So it has to uh, wait a little bit before, uh, it has to warm up a little bit before it can actually work. So I'm just getting out of the tractor right now. We're gonna take it apart after Dad's done mowing and see if we do need to order that part or if it's just a cable that came loose. So I'm getting the air compressor right now just to clean out the interior. have some grain. I'm gonna go see uh, how dad's doing with the mowing. Get some shots of that.
usually we aren't mowing this late until like fall, but we uh, were helping other people hang and stuff, and so we got pushed back a lot. So this is the last of what we're doing, just a lot of low land and ditches and stuff like that. So this stuff is a lot drier. We should be able to break and bail it within two days, hopefully. I think Dad's just finishing up over there. But yeah, thanks for watching. It's too cold to live, and it's not even winter yet. I mean, the four-wheeler wants to start.